this is my ultimate base routine the only base routine video that you'll ever need so first obviously edge control on the brows and i let that sit and now i'm cleaning them up with the nars soft matte concealer i like a thicker concealer to clean up my brows because it doesn't move around that much and also it sets really well this base routine is completely matte that's the finish so then i go in and i blend that out because i'm not going to be putting on any eyeshadow so just blending that into my eyelids then i'm going in with the elf halo filter glow thing the charlotte tilbury dupe and i'm packing that onto my face and just blending that out do you see the glow do you see the glow i know you see it this is basically going to be my foundation i'm not putting anything else on my face besides concealer and right into the concealer highlight i'm using the morphe 2 concealer i can't think of what the shade is right now but under eye bridge of the nose perimeter of the mouth and then i'm going to go to my chin obviously less coverage there and then carve out those cheekbones with the reverse contour then i'm going in with a really dense brush and i'm just blending that out i just want everything to be really seamless into the base and that's not really full coverage it's just a glowy product but also <clears throat> The important thing is that if I want my face really matte, I'm going to use products that are pretty glowy so that when I set it, it's completely matte. So that's the reason why I'm using the products that I'm using. Going in with the under eye and just blending that out. First the edges and then working my way to the center. And I'm not going to be going in with a cream contour. I'm just going to be using the highlighter. As you saw, I reverse highlighted under my cheekbones. Again, just blending that really seamlessly so it looks like it's all one layer. Then I'm going in with a powder puff and using the Cover FX Loose Powder. It's a yellow base powder, but it's super matte. So I'm packing that all over the places that I place that concealer just to really set it and cement that concealer in my base. First, under my eyes, I'm trying to get a blurred effect so i'm packing up that upper lip <coughs> chin forehead of course bridging my nose Just making sure to really put the powder in there. Press it into my skin. Not really baking, but actually like setting my face with that powder. Like the powder is becoming part of the base. Then I'm going in with a bronzer. And because I have that powder below, it's going to blend seamlessly. Because powder is blend with powders really well. I'm just bringing back color to my face and carving out um, my features. Forehead, of course. But 
not the whole, just like the temples. And then I'm making sure that everything's blended like seamlessly and the bronzer doesn't look too harsh. And then, like I said, I didn't go in with a liquid contour, so I'm just doing a powder contour of my nose, and that's going to be a lot softer and easier to blend. I used a dense brush to create the shape, and then I'm just fluffing it out with a fluffier brush just to diffuse it so it looks more natural, and I'm blending that into my eyebrows as well. like a powder nose contour is a lot more forgiving sometimes i do both but i'm only doing powder now and then i'm going in and i'm setting my eyebrow clean up and then brushing off the excess and setting with a face powder under my eyes just to mattify even more and then i like putting the eyelash glue on my eyelids sometimes i put it on my eyelids and on the lash for that extra you know seal and i love a fluffy lash so that's what i'm using and then that's what the look looks like so far i let it sit for a little bit just to marinate and then the lippy i carved out with a brown liner and then I'm going in with a pink shade pink gloss topping it with the NYX butter gloss I believe in fortune cookie and then this color changing gloss just to blend everything together and this is the finished look and I'll see you in the next one